Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 4. Today we are in the 13th episode of the series and we have Dhruv here with us who has been recently placed at Bain & Company as part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us but before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all BTEC students from all branches were eligible provided they had a 60% or a 6 CGPA in the 10th, 12th as well as their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Dhruv to understand his experience interviewing for this company. Hi Dhruv, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, first of all thank you Bia for having me on your channel. So hi everyone, my name is Dhruv. I am currently pursuing my B.Tech in Computer Science at BIT Venlo. Uh, I recently got placed at Bain & Co as an analyst intern where I will be joining from this January. So, yeah. Okay, that's great. Congratulations again and thank you for that. So, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. So, yeah, Bain, first of all, come to campus where the, we have showed you the eligibility criteria. And first round was the resume shortlisting round where you need to fill up your all and details uh, on the portal of Bain and fill up the Google form of VAT. Okay. And after that, uh, in Bain specifically, they will share you the format of resume from which you have to make, prepare your uh, your resume okay. and everyone I think from VIT applied for main and after the resume shortlisted uh, 471 people were shortlisted after the resume shortlisting round okay. so I will specifically tell that when you are making your resume for main focus on your positions of responsibility your experience your POR and everything Hmm. So and add the specific keywords upon like that hmm. and after this uh, resume shortlisting round there was an online test schedule for all the shortlisted students. So for uh, this was on higher pro, uh, higher pro platform and it consist, basically consisted of 20 questions for 60 minutes and in, in that uh, the 12 questions were on the data interpretation part okay. and the 8 questions were based on the logical reasoning part mm. and for in I will tell that in 12 questions there were like three kind of case uh, questions were given to you and in one case you have the four questions you will be having the graph table and everything okay. and based on that you need to get upon an answer and mark it mm. and in test there was also a negative marking also so plus one and minus 0.25 for each and every question so you need to be very sure when you are marking any questions mm. uh, marking any answers and like that it will go as an online test okay. and when you are applying for this online test there is a kind of coe that center of excellence that bain specifically you, you ask to choose hmm. so bain come up with 15 coes this time in vat okay. and from that you need to select your preferences okay. like in which coe you want to work on okay. and if you want to get an idea like which coe is best for me what you can do is you can search on the internet the name of the coe bain has a specific web page for that COE where they are like uh, very properly telling what they are doing in that COE and what are the projects they are working on. Right. So you will get pretty much idea about the COE like what, which COE is very good fit for me. Okay. So yeah this was the test after the test there were around shortlisted came for the students for the interviews and mm -hmm. uh, before the interview is scheduled Bain started with one case study workshop that is scheduled for all the students who got shortlisted for the interview okay so that case study workshop was taken by the Bain senior persons and basically they were in the motive for that uh, case study workshop was that to get you uh, how to uh, to get you know how to prepare for the Bain interviews so basically Bain interview consisted of first is the guesstimate round and the second mm. one is the case study now mm. so in that workshop Bain senior persons will solve one guesstimate and one case study with you okay so and they will tell you this step you need to take upon when you are solving any guesstimate like asking questions and, and everything they will tell you right. so make sure when you are attending that workshop you have one notebook or you are taking a basically the screenshot so that you have an idea like what you need to prepare when you are preparing for your interview hmm. and yeah so this was the workshop and after that from morning being started with uh, their interviews my interview was in the morning at 10 a.m. Uh, the first round was the guesstimate round so the person from Bain joined the meet and they were like small intro happened and 
they will ask you some normal logical puzzles to test your ability to think okay. and they will ask you some statistical terms to get among that you have an idea of maths like how mm-hmm. to solve these kind of things mm-hmm. and after that they will ask you the guesstimate so in, my guesstimate was based on the revenue generations okay. so sometimes your interviewer may focus on the numbers or may not focus on the numbers so my interviewer was not very much like uh, informed towards the numbers so mm. he was like uh, he is more oriented towards the approach like which mm. approach i will follow so he asked me about that guesstimate i followed the same approach that the uh, bain people told in their case study workshop right. and uh, in that interview i solved that guesstimate using the demand side approach that you will get to know when you prepare for your uh, mm. this guesstimate mm. and uh, after that interviewer told me that uh, do you have any more idea on that like which is the second approach you can follow so mm. then i come up on to the se- supply side approach also and that was also quite correct i gave in very less time so mm. it was like uh, interviewer was very impressed about that mm. that i gave both the approaches for the single guesstimate mm. so yeah after this round around after 15 minutes i got the call from the next round mm. and in this second round was taken by a very senior person at bain with a, around 10 years of experience okay. so it started with like how was your first round and some questions on the how what were you learning and what you mm. know about bain as of now mm. and why you want to join bain as an analyst because mm. i am a computer science student so then you need to tell upon that uh, you are having a business acumen you are mm. want to be a part of company where strategy insights mm. you need to get from data and kind of thing right. and then he asked me about my resume mm. and it was a very deep discussion about your resume so make sure when you are making your resume you are also prepared with your resume mm. each and everybody like mm. he will go in very much deep up upon your resume right. and my project was related to finance and also he what he did was he asked some finance and case study related problems related to my project itself. Hmm, okay so i was uh, like i was very well done with my project so i was able to answer all the questions hmm. and then he asked like uh, why won't uh, then like you do you have any questions for me hmm. then you should be very good for like you need to ask some good questions hmm. student reviewer not like the sir how is your experience so it is like quite expected questions hmm. so make sure you are asking good questions and yeah this was all the experience sent me okay that's great congrats and, yeah and uh, today and after this interview the same day night we got the results for the company those who are selected right. for the me right uh, how many people were selected total so there were total 15 cos and uh, for 15 cos around 30 students were selected okay 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 that's great uh, congratulations again and thank you for sharing your experience uh, do you have any suggestions or anything that you learned from your experience that you'd like to share? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, uh, uh, suggestions specifically to Bain and uh, so it can be divided into two categories. So, basically it can be for uh, tech companies and it can be for non-tech companies in the consulting and all. Mm-hmm. So, if you are preparing for your tech companies interview, basically you need to first of all focus on CGPA mm-hmm. that is like quite a lot matters in VIT because uh, there are uh, high chances you will get shortlisted uh, initially based on your CGPA mm-hmm. and the second most important thing when you are preparing for your tech interviews the data structures and algorithms part so mm-hmm. you should be like uh, a good problem solver in DSC and all because it is a major part of your interview and your online assessment mm-hmm. and uh, and you should be prepared with your resume mm-hmm. and when you are preparing for this uh, consulting role you should be like uh, very good with your guesstimate your problem solving your business terms you should know and the case study hmm. so for pre- uh, for like bain or any consulting company if you are preparing for guesstimate what you can do is uh, what i did was you can search on the google like what are the top 25 guesstimates that can be asked in interview you get a one medium article on that hmm. and there is a youtube atta- video attached with all the medium articles so hmm. you can watch that first of all you can do that guesstimate yourself and then you can watch the video so you know where you are lagging hmm. after solving around i think 15 guesstimates you are very well good with like you know how to solve any guesstimate that is coming to you right and for the 
case study kind of thing what you need to do is you can watch the youtube videos of the bain consultants bcg mckenzie those who are top management firms mm -hmm. so uh, that is around one hour video and you can watch it on 2x kind of thing and get to know like how the consultant at bain is solving that case study how approach they are following and like that if you are watching around 10 Uh, 10 videos of case study you are very well know that uh, there are some kind of categories that uh, case study that can be asked like profit merger acquisitions and the new setup of your business like mm. that there are uh, three to six cat broad categories right. so that is i think quite enough for you to go ahead okay okay that's great thank you again for sharing your experience and for your suggestions i'm sure they're going to help many people and yeah thank you so much yeah thank you yeah for having me Thank you all for watching. If you did like this video, if you found this helpful, please do like, share and subscribe and all the best on your placements. Thank you all for watching.